You're in the right place for the best real estate advice in Windsor, Essex. It's the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show, a paid program on AM800. Back to the show with your host and broker owner of the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team. Welcome back to the show. It's time for our featured business of the week. Again, the segment is brought to you by Doobie's Home Center, your flooring, paint, and window covering store serving all of Windsor and Essex County. Located at 269 Ramsey Street in Amherstburg with new extended hours. Now open from 8.30 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 to 4 on Saturdays. Stop in or call the store at 509-736-4021 for your free home consultation. You can also find them online at Doobie's. Dot CA. And we are very excited for our featured guests this week. It is Carl and Rita Hume, Hume from Blimey's Store and Gift Shop out in Harrow. Hello to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. We are excited to have you on. And before we get to Carl and Rita, we've got to talk about how we got to Carl and Rita. Okay. Because there's a story behind it. There really is. There usually is. Yeah. There usually is. <laughs> everything, right? Yeah. And um, and Andrew on our team, as as everyone knows, we don't let him on the radio very often because people fall in love with his accent. No one can understand him. No, so that's I know. What it is. Yeah. <laughs> there's no, there's no <laughs> These English people. Right are, yes. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, everyone, every time we send Andrew to a client's house, eh, Kath? It's like, oh, we love oh, his accent. Oh, yes, I get tired yeah, of yeah, hearing yeah. it. <laughs> we get it. We get it. He's English. Okay. Yes. That's why we hired him. <laughs> <laughs> skills. A token Englishman. Yeah. <laughs> the women all love him. Oh, so, Andrew, I yeah. can <laughs> talk to you for an hour. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. But uh, so Andrew came to the team, and uh, tell us how you found the store. Okay, so my sister-in-law, Candice, she was driving through Harrow one day and said, I've just driven past a place that has a British flag out on the outside. I think it might be a, some kind of British store. So I'm thinking, okay, I've got to look into this. So I think I ended up taking a drive out there, past there, and I just walked through the door and that and was it. History. And the rest is history. There's all the, it's, like walking, it's just like walking through a six-hour time difference and going into an English supermarket and think... Oh, this stuff is here. This is awesome. I don't have to move back now. Oh, <laughs> now wait, are you saying there's a big difference between you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We should do, we should do a blind taste test for especially oh, the yeah. chocolate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially between the, the especially between the, 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 the British stuff and the North American stuff, there yeah. is a you wouldn't think there's a massive difference, but there really is. But especially when you're raised on it as well, like it's you you really do miss it. You do you miss it. Do really tell the difference. Okay, so. Um, Let's bring Rita and Carl into the picture here. So, tell us about the store. How did it start? How long has it been been around? Uh, um, well, we've always talked about doing something. And when we moved out here, there was no British store in the area. So we thought, okay, well, give it a try. Carl was still working at the time. So we opened the store and we thought it'd be a couple days a week. And uh, we opened <laughs> and we were open, I think, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then people were saying, can you be open more? And we thought, okay. So then it turned into Wednesday, and now it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow. We're closed Mondays, and we still get people asking now, why are you closed Mondays? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and uh, it it's sort of taken on a life of its own, you know? You know, I think we can all vouch. It has been, even, you know, without having Andrew in our office, we have heard about the store from people mm -hmm. talking yep. Um, yep. You know, we do a lot of business out here away as well, uh, and we hear people talking about the store, mm -hmm. um, which is huge, eh, Kath? <clears throat> it is, and it's a really neat little place. Yes. And the owners aren't too shabby either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> They're very welcoming when you go in there, and you just start... You're you're very warm. Whoever walks in the front door the yeah. first time I walked in, right? And you're so welcoming that you you just fall in love with the place already. Yeah, like it's, for sure. it's yeah, very very it's nice, a very personal, welcoming environment. Yeah, very definitely. personal place. Tell us about the kind of things you're carrying in the store. Well, oh we, gosh, where do you start? Yes, yeah. <laughs> we, we have over nineteen thousand items in the store now. Is that all? Uh, and, uh, yeah. and, and, Coming and, into and your I, inventory, I, right? I know because yeah. I put it all on the computer. I'm a geek. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so uh, we carry everything that you would think of in a British store. So we have all the traditional, as, as Andrew pointed out, the chocolates and the foods and the, the juices and the squash and, you know, <laughs> the pies and all that kind of stuff that people would normally expect to find within a British store. 
Uh, and then we've gone beyond that. We're, we're a gift store as well, and we make a point of doing that. So we source out uh, goods that are uh, made in the UK traditionally. So we carry leather goods. Uh, there's only two leather companies left in Britain that still manufacture in Britain. We deal with both of them. Uh, Irish sweaters, uh, all handmade. Uh, uh, tartans from Scotland. So we really source out unique items. Then to really differentiate it, because we have a lot of tourism, because of where we're located with the vineyards, Yes. We also carry glassware from France. And people say, why is a British store got glassware from France? And I say, because we can. Yeah. <laughs> we're the owners who can do what we want. We like it. It's the oldest yeah. glass company in the world. Yeah. We're it's British, we can do what we like. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. That's it's right. It's been exactly. around over 500 years. So we carry that. And we have a Lamp Berger from Paris, France. Uh, we have Canadian jewelry. Uh, so we've really diversified the store to appeal to a wider audience. So we yeah. have lots of people come in. People, uh, we won the BizX Award uh, yes. last year. Yes, uh, which is uh, worth the drive to Harrow. First company, first time in Harrow that anyone's ever won anything in uh, 19 years with Bizex. So that's uh, that's awesome, and uh, you know that uh, that really opened up a lot of people's eyes. So most of our customers come from not just Harrow but Amherstburg, Windsor, uh, Detroit, Ohio, Cleveland, Chatham, wow. Chatham. Yeah. Uh, so we have a big big driving community, and uh, and that's why we have to make sure that we're always fully stocked and ready to go. So. And what about uh, online shopping? Oh, you you well, do that a lot too, don't you? We we uh, well, we're, we're very no. we have a website blimeys.ca. Uh, we feature we try and feature as much as we can on there. We we started off with really good intentions, you know, of selling that we were going to sell online. Yeah. Our first order was a lady in Florida that wanted a jar of jam. <laughs> I think the jar of jam was seven dollars, and I think and shipping the shipping was, was twenty-seven. Twenty-seven dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So she didn't get the jar of jam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we uh, we decided that just wasn't uh, something we could. And quite frankly, um, it's a high too, maintenance. Too many things. items. Now. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. pricing and stock availability. And that's just and it. And it's... again, if you can't find the right shipping, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's well, where it, that's where it gets expensive. Yeah. Yeah. In my when I first moved here, I would order things online from other places in Canada and the U.S. to be shipped here, and the shipping was always more than the value of the item yeah. I, yeah. Was, mm-hmm. I was yeah. ordering. Yeah. Unbelievable. And, um, yeah, it was, it's astronomical. That, yeah, that's what kills you. Yeah. So who do you find um, is your typical customer in the store? Ooh, that's a tough one. Well, obviously we get a lot of uh, Brits in. Yes. Um, uh, other than that, like we have people coming in now who are Canadian because they're looking for gift items, sure. but then they end up buying food. But I would say our demographic is anywhere from someone... 30 to 90. Uh, we, we, we have, have war brides come war brides in who coming. are like wow. 102. Yeah, that's awesome. They're coming in on their own steam too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, with their walkers, yes, you know, yes, yes. but yeah, yeah, and they just love it. You recently added a uh, some space onto the store. Oh, yeah. Tell yeah. us about that. <laughs> we uh, we took our stock room. Uh, my, my theory was, you know, all, this good, all these goods that we have in the stock room, wouldn't it be great to have no stock room and have it all out in the store? <laughs> <laughs> but there was work involved. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, just a move, lot of it. Yeah. Move six or seven walls to yeah. make it happen. Anyway, we, we, we did that. We took our 600 square foot stock room and made it part of the store. And then we decided that we still needed a stock yeah. room. Of course. Hmm. So uh, we took more space and uh, made our stock room a little bit more unified uh, and uniform. So yeah, we've uh, we've expanded the store. Uh, we widened it a little bit as well. We had the opportunity to do that, so we figured we're in for a pound, in for a penny, so to speak. We may as well get it done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, exactly. Uh, and so now it it really it really has added. It's like a TARDIS, as I call it. Now when you walk in the store, it's bigger it's on so, the inside. So long <laughs> and narrow, and then you get to the back. Now it's like bam. Yeah. This Andrew, you know space. what I mean by that, right? Oh yeah, it's like an egg timer. You <laughs> walk in, you you kind of walk in through the funnel at the front, and then it just then everything's just open. It, yeah. it's, it's so cool. It's very cool. So we're assuming Andrew's your number one customer. He must, he must be there. <laughs> He's one of our Every favorite. Every couple of days. <laughs> yeah. There's a difference. There's a difference. <laughs> He's the one who got us to bring squash in. Yep. Yeah, I see. Yep. Uh, I'll never forget to visit for Christmas uh, a couple of years back. And then the whole the office got together and, and went shopping at uh, Blimey's for Andrew. For Andrew, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They treat you know me something. well. Yeah, they treat me well. Every once in a while, eh? Yeah, every once in a while. Uh, <laughs> just at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> every other Christmas. Well, this will be your lucky year then this it year. It should be. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. What, what else can you tell us? Um, what What are your biggest sellers there at the store? What 
What do you well, find? Well, if, you, if you're looking pure numbers, I guess it would be steak and kidney, kidney pies. pies. That's uh, the biggest. Uh, but you know, uh, from a, from a, a value perspective, it's probably the sweaters, the jewelry has has been very yeah. very important to us. We carry. Uh, we've just started a new line of jewelry from Scotland. Uh, called Heather Gems. That's all made from Heather. Uh, it's all natural. Which is really cool. It's very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, and so we're on our third order already in less than a month. Of wow. wow. Jewelry from yeah, Scotland. people are loving it. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so the jewelry is really important. Uh, we have uh, an English jewelry line, a Canadian jewelry line, and a Scottish jewelry line. So I say, you know, we're keeping very, you know, diverse here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> keep everyone happy. Well, they, yeah. yeah, it's all a little bit different. We carry too. a chameleon, uh, which is uh, Canada's answer to Pandora. Uh, and so uh, that's uh, that's been very very big for us. In fact, a uh, little plug here: uh, <laughs> this coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're having a chameleon event at the store, and uh, we've already sent out emails to our chameleon customers. And so uh, we're looking forward to greeting and meeting them. And cool. our reps will be in to uh, on to show Friday the morning. On yeah, Friday morning, show the product. There, yeah. So. Oh, yeah, cool. I know. Who yeah. knew? <laughs> Who knew? Who <laughs> knew? What is next for the store? Where do you see it going? Well, you this know, it's going to be a huge franchise. It'll be all over oh, the world. Yeah. Yeah. When, if, it, if, when if, people if only, say that, it's like... <laughs> if only I was 30 years old. This, this was my retirement project. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, <laughs> and he doesn't even get paid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me oh, too. The, fr- the fringe <laughs> benefit, benefit's got to be good. Oh, well, there you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, uh, you know, I'm as, as we, as Rita said, we started off with the view that this was going to be like a little part-time job, just keep my hand in something, keep us busy, you know, and it's turned into, a, you know, we have two, uh, two staff members that are awesome that work with us all the time, Trish and, uh, and Tori. Big shout out to them this morning because we couldn't do it without them. And then on the weekends, uh, Tori's sister and Trish's uh, daughter, the other daughter, Hope, works with us <laughs> as well. Works. So it's a family so affair. Yeah, that's right. Yes, uh, yeah. So they work with us and we couldn't do it without them because we're, uh, we work about four days a week and they work the other four days a week uh, with us. So, uh, you know, we're open six days a week and, uh, and it, we, couldn't, we couldn't be there. So next steps for Blimey's is just more of what we keep doing. Uh, Good. 19,000 items in the store. Well, that seems to be a magic number for us. We've kind of reached our where we we know we know we need to be mm-hmm. now from uh, from the the merchandise standpoint. We're always looking for fresh ideas. In fact, we're going to the UK at the end of uh, May. May. Yeah. And uh, we're going specifically to uh, to meet with three new vendors that we're looking to bring some no, more merchandise in. Uh, we're going to carry linens uh, from Britain. Uh, uh, we're going to carry. Uh, we're looking for an, another jewelry line from the UK, and we're going to meet our leather supplier. Fantastic. Oh, very That's nice. really cool. Uh, tell us quickly, we have 10 seconds. Where can they find you and your website? Blimeys.ca. Uh, we're at 25 King Street West in Harrow, and our telephone number is 226 787 1244. Fantastic. All the information is on our website as well. It's fantastic having you guys both in. Well, thanks well, for, having, thanks us. for having us. Well, and thank you for listening. Big listeners of the show, and we, uh, we appreciate that, and we are excited that uh, you're able to make it on with us. <laughs> It's Rita and Carl Hume, the owners of Blimey's uh, British store and gift shop out in Harrow. All right, lots more to come right here on the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show.